How did they do that? Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the How Did They Do That series. On this first episode we are going to take a look on how we created this intro. So what we are going to create today is basically this nice text animation together with those small colored figures. We have to key some footage, we have to colorize it and then we take a quick look on how we did those nice black outlines so that the characters look more like cartoons. So let's get started. I have already created a new composition. The composition settings are 1280 by 720 square pixels, 15 frames a second, because I'm just capturing the screen with 15 frames per second and a duration of 15 seconds. Let's just call this one the main comp and hit OK. I already created the text for us so that everything goes a bit faster. So let's at first create a nice background layer. So we choose layer, new, solid. We make it comp size and the color doesn't really matter. Let's just make it white for now and click OK. So we bring it below the text and then we choose the ramp effect from the effects menu. Generate ramp or we just type it in here so that you can see it. On the effects and presets we just type in ramp and there we should have it and just drag it onto our background. Let's just name this solid BG for background and by default it just creates this black to white ramp so let's make this look a bit nicer. We just click on the black and choose some nice blue color something like this. And a quick tip, if we now choose for the white the same color, like the start color, the same blue, and if we now click on the blue, we are in the same color scheme and we can just pick a lighter one, but the mood will stay the same. So it looks just a bit nicer. Like so. Let's maybe make this one also a lighter okay looking nice so let's bring in some footage i have already created some folders here for the solids and for the videos so i just bring in the first footage which i was filming i just drag it onto this small new composition icon okay let's quickly scrub through this it's just me pulling up a stick as a reference for the words which we are going to bring in as I knew in the beginning which kind of steps I had to walk through in the post-production, I had prepared a few things. For example, I wear all black just to have a nicer contrast to the green screen. So you see, I also put on those black shoes and I put my shirt into my trousers to make it easier in the post-production. And I put on those two black bracelets to have some tracking points for the tracking later on. Okay, so let's start. Just bring in a keyer and the best one for this will be keying key light and I just pick the screen color and I take a green which is very next to my body because this is the color we want to get rid of the most and if I just click we already have a nice result. We switch this here to the screen mat and we see that we have to work here a bit. The white isn't really white and the black isn't really black. So let's quickly go to the screen mat and clip the black. So just like so, maybe about 50. And just bring in the white, so clip the white. Maybe also about 50, 52 will be nice. Okay. And we can also shrink the mat just a little bit, maybe just one pixel, so that we don't have those hard edges everywhere. So then we go back to our final result and we just quickly bring out a garbage mask. So I just take the rect 
Angular mask tool. And let me take a look if everything's in there. It needs to be a bit bigger. Okay. And I'm walking off the screen. Okay, looking nice. And as I know already that I want to be on the left side here, this guy here. So I just s mirror this one. So let's go to transform and I just type in negative 100 and I'm walking off to the other side. So let's get this colored. So for this one, I just take a fill effect, just type in fill and by default it should look red and it does look red. Okay, but we still have those freaky edges everywhere around here. So let's just make this matte look a bit nicer. For that we take a joker, so let's type in joker and we take the matte joker, just bring it out here and it already looks very nice. So now let's take a look on how we did those black lines around our body. And for this one I'm taking a effect which you may not have thought about but it works quite well as I have figured out and we just take the glow effect. There we have it and just bring it onto the footage and by default it does what it's supposed to do. It creates this nice glow around the body but we don't want that. So at first let's make the glow not based on the colors but on the alpha. There we have it and then let's just change the colors to black. So now we can make the glow intensity a bit stronger, maybe about 8. Yes, that's looking nice. But we have one problem, let's make it 6, because it's still glowing. So it's going from black to transparent and we don't want that. What we can do here is duplicate the matte choker by hitting Control D and this just duplicates the choker and we just put it below the glow. And there we have it. Glow, no glow. Okay. And we can just bring in this one into our main comp. So I'm back at the main comp. And there I have my green screen. I just dragged it onto the main comp. And I'm taking a quick look where everything is in position. And this is my final move. And so I just bring it out here to point where it looks nice. But the sad thing is that the words don't immediately stick to the hands. So we have to track the hands that we can later on parent this tracking data to the words. Let's do this. So I take the same footage as before and drag it into a new composition. Let's call this one the tracking comp. And we create a new layer, a null object on which we apply our tracking data. So let's call this one tracking data. Okay, and now we have to bring out our tracker. And if you don't have it here, you can go under Window, Tracker. And there we have it. Now we click on Track Motion. We want to track the position and also the rotation. And we want the target to be our tracking data null object. Okay. So let's quickly scrub through a point because I want to track this footage backwards because I don't need any tracking data after this point in time. 